Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install CentOS Stream 9 on VMA Workstation. First go to CentOS official website and download. CentOS.org Hit enter. Then click on download. Then see here we have the 9 and 10. Okay. So click on 9. See here we have the architecture ISOs, RPMs, cloud and containers and workgrid. Click on this ISOs mirrors. See download started. See the size is about 12.3 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded. In your case wait until download completes. Once download is completed then open VMware workstation. Now click on create a new virtual machine or file, select file and go to new virtual machine. Both are same. Next then select the downloaded CentOS stream ISO image. Click on browse then go to downloads. See here we have the CentOS stream 9. Select it. Click on next. Personalize Linux. Now provide the name for the virtual machine. Then select the location to store this virtual machine files and folders. Click on browse. E folder. Paste. Then click on next. Then provide the virtual hard disk size. I am giving 50 gigabytes. Then click on next. See memory selected as 1 gigabytes. If you want to customize any one of these options, just click on customize hardware. I am giving memory as 4 gigabytes or you can provide memory here in megabyte number of processors I am giving to and if you want to enable virtualization you have to select the check boxes ok click on close click on finish don't select this power on this virtual machine after creation still if you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine click on edit virtual machine settings or right click and select settings or go to vm and select settings all three options are same if you want to provide any description for this virtual machine you have to provide here if you are ok with all the settings then click on power on this virtual machine See if cursor is grayed out, just press Alt Control to release a cursor. See, welcome to CentOS Stream 9 and set the language. Then click on Continue. See, begin station has been grayed out. Why? Because the options that are marked with red color must be configured. So, select the installation destination and OK the default one. Click on Done. Then root password provide the password confirm the same then if you want to log root account you have to select this checkbox and if you want to allow root SSH to log in with password you have to select this checkbox these are up to you based on your requirement then click on done see now we are able to click on begin station but create user I am giving user full name as after school then this is a username and I want to make this user as the administrator then set the password for this account click on done done now software selection see here these are the base environments and these are the additional software options for this base environments ok see here we have the server GUI server minimal install workstation custom operating system and virtualization host I am going to select server with GUI and select the components whatever you want to install on here on this server with J base environment then click on done now time and date see you can select region and city from this drop down or you can select on the globe ok but if you want to configure this time just you have to turn off then only we will be able to set ok I want to go with the defaults 
so click on done keyboard language i am going with the defaults okay if you are okay with all the settings then click on begin installation see installation has been started this will take time i'm going to pause this video and then it will ask us to reboot the system then we will reboot the system and we will perform the post installation service in meantime please subscribe my channel for more tutorials See installation is completed now click on reboot system Now click on username and provide the password. No thanks. Then open terminal. See font size is too low. Let me increase the font size. Click on these horizontal lines, preferences. Then select the unnamed profile. Then select this custom. Check this checkbox for custom font. See font size has been increased. Let us increase more. select it say font size has been increased close this one now we fade the version that we have installed more slash etc os hyphen release see we have installed centos stream 9 and its id is like rhlr fedora and if you want to verify ip of this machine just give if config see this is the ip of the machine okay you can also get the ip address by running ip addr See, this is the IP of the mission. This is the IP of the mission. Okay. Control L. The first step after connecting to set voice stream is we have to update the packages. sudo dnf up, update ampersand ampersand sudo dnf upgrade. Hit enter. Load the password of sudo user. Hit enter. everything is up to date okay control a so in this video we have seen how to download and install centro stream 9 on vmware workstation okay for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you